Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and welcome to another video cooking lesson at the Season Cook. Today, I will answer the question of how to make straw fried potatoes, or sometimes called shoestring potatoes. And what I have here soaking in cold water is my four or five potatoes that I already cut up. And I'm going to show you exactly how I cut that potato up now. So there's no reason why you can't do these by hand. It took me about seven or eight minutes to cut all of those potatoes up that I did, about four or five of these. Let's get our poker chips here restacked. And we're cutting a pretty thin piece. Now I'm not going to add these to these because the soaking in cold water and the removal of the starch and it kind of curls the potato by soaking in the water. You can soak them overnight in the water if you want. So we're not going to use these that I'm cutting to demo the frying process for you. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a napkin and lay it out on the table. Because we need to dry these. I'm going to give you two versions of these potatoes. One that's floured and one that is not floured. We're going to season them with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and uh, parsley and salt and pepper. I'm going to keep it simple for you. I'm going to make sure these are dry, of course, or pretty dry because you're putting them directly into 370 degree hot canola oil in this deep fryer here. And they're dried enough for me. Just pick the whole towel up. We'll put it right in there like so. Now we're going to drop these. They're not going to take long and while they're doing that So you have a little bit of water, you got to kind of temper the oil a little bit. You don't want it overflowing on you. But I will tell you, I always recommend having a fire extinguisher in your kitchen, especially if you have a deep fat fryer, because things can happen, especially if they overflow near a stove. So let's take a little bit more of this. While those are frying, and we'll dry these off. And flour them and we'll season the flour a little also. These you don't have to worry about the water too much because you're going to flour them. These are doing good but we want them stiff and crisp and brown. So let's put a little bit of salt and pepper into a couple of cups of flour that we have here. Dump the potatoes right in there. Oops, throw some on the floor while we're at it. I'm going to make sure these are kind of well coated. Looking good. And they're going to end up on this plate after they're fried. So you want to serve them in something either on a napkin or even a piece of parchment paper. So let's fast forward here for another minute or two while these are frying. These are almost done but they're not brown enough for me although they're getting crispy. Alright two minutes has elapsed and they're crispy enough for me. Could I fry them longer? I could probably fry them for two more minutes if I wanted to. A lot of it might depend on how long you want them laying around. If you're going to eat them fairly quickly, they're done. If you want them sitting in a bowl and staying crispy for, uh, you know, an hour or two, then you may want to fry them a little longer. So let's just dump them in the bowl. And before we even season these, let's put the floured ones in the basket. Let's do it like this.
I don't know how to do it. Okay. Now here, let's put a little bit of Parmesan cheese just for fun, but that's an option. A little bit of chopped parsley just for fun, and that's an option. A little bit of salt, that's kind of not an option, I don't think. And a little bit of pepper. Let's just give that a little toss like that. So you got a little bit of extra flavor on there. And we're going to put the other one side by side with these. These are great with uh, grilled and uh, grilled and sautéed roasted meats and steaks. Absolutely. So let's fast forward this for about three to four minutes while those are frying, and then we'll be right back and we'll get them next to each other to take a, a closer look. These shoestring potatoes have been frying for five minutes. Uh, they're done enough for me. See how nice those look? Let's get those in the bowl. And now I could be putting any kind of seasoning on here. I don't have to be putting Parmesan cheese and chopped parsley, which is what I'm going to do. I could be putting ground cumin or and cayenne pepper on them if I want. Depends on what you want it to taste like. But I'm going to be a little consistent with these two and put chopped parsley, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of salt and pepper on these. And toss them. Now if you want to keep them around and eat them at room temperature, then you need to cook them a little crispier than I did. But I'm making these as if they're going to be eaten now. As you can see, there's a slightly different color. And of course, in the final analysis, there'll be a slightly different texture here. So there you go. I hope I answered the question of how to make straw potatoes or shoestring fried potatoes. Enjoy.